Today, Israel stands on the brink of a significant conflict, and some believe it may be linked to ancient prophecies of Gog and Magog. But what does that mean? In religious traditions, Gog and Magog represent a final apocalyptic battle between good and evil, often involving forces that threaten Israel. This battle is said to precede a time of peace and the coming of a savior. Rabbi Nir ben Artsi, a prominent mystical figure in Israel, has recently issued a stark warning. The prophesied war of Gog and Magog has begun. According to Rabbi ben Artsi, nations that stand against Israel will face divine retribution marked by natural disasters and upheavals. Just today at 4.30 p.m., Israeli fighter jets launched a massive strike across Lebanon, targeting Hezbollah's rocket launchers and ammunition depots. This operation occurred just before a major speech by Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, and the timing was no coincidence. The IDF's precision strikes have significantly weakened Hezbollah's capabilities, eliminating key assets and disrupting their plans. Earlier in the day, the Golani Brigade thwarted a major infiltration attempt by Hezbollah fighters who were planning a large-scale attack inside Israel. The IDF's swift response resulted in the elimination of over 40 Hezbollah terrorists in just the past two days. These actions demonstrate Israel's determination and strength in defending its borders against those who seek to do harm. Tragically, Hezbollah's attacks have not been without cost. This morning, anti-tank missiles fired by Hezbollah claimed the life of a Golani soldier, while another attack took the life of a company commander in the 300th Brigade. Despite these losses, Israel's resolve remains unshaken. Rabbi Ben Artsi sees these events as part of a divine reckoning, a prelude to the prophesied Gog and Magog conflict. The destruction of those who oppose Israel has already begun, he says, and it will only intensify. For the rabbi and his followers, this is not just a military operation. It's a sign that Israel is being divinely protected in a battle that may have been foretold millennia ago. As the conflict unfolds, Israel's strength is on full display. But what do you think? Are these events a fulfillment of ancient prophecies or simply the realities of modern warfare? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Please subscribe for more insights on Israel's spiritual journey and ongoing conflicts. Thank you.